Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service is taken from the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The form of words on some of the slides has been changed to reflect a recent update. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in with the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God. The, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful to, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Move among us, God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. 
Give us again the joy of your help. With, With your, your spirit, spirit of freedom, freedom sustain us. us. God, make our hearts clean. Renew, Renew us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Loving, Loving God in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Psalm 130 Out of the depths I cry to you, O God. Open your ears and give me a hearing. If you, O oh God, took note of our sins, who could hold their head high? But you have chosen to forgive, and for this we revere you. I wait for God, I wait in hope. My soul waits for my Maker more than those who wait for the morning, more than those who look for the dawn. Both in God, you faithful people, trust in God's constant love. God's power to liberate brings redemption from every sin. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the first book of Timothy, Chapter 5, verses 9 to 16. Let a widow be put on the list if she is not less than 60 years old and has been married only once. She must be well attested for her good works as one who has brought up children, shown hospitality, washed the saints' feet, helped the afflicted and devoted herself to doing good in every way but refuse to put younger widows on the list, 
for when their sensual desires alienate them from Christ, they want to marry, and so they incur condemnation for having violated their first pledge. Besides that, they learn to be idle, gadding about from house to house, and they are not merely idle, but also gossips and busybodies, saying what they should not say. So I would have younger widows marry, bear children and manage their households, so as the adversary no occasion to revile us. For some have already turned away to follow Satan. If any believing woman has relatives who are really widows, let her assist them. Let the church not be burdened, so that it can assist those who are real widows. For the word of God in scripture and other well springs of nourishment. For the word of God among us. For the word of God within us. Thanks be to God. God, Creator, Son and Holy Spirit, you are the God who runs to greet us when the prodigal returns home and throws a feast for us, unworthy though we are. You are the God who sits at our table, 
inviting us to sit ever closer to you, who laughs with us, cries with us, listens to us, making us feel alive again. You are the God of the wind and fire. You surround us with warmth and light. You enliven our fearful hearts and call us to serve like never before. You are the God of unconditional love. You are the God fully at one with our humanity. You are the unseen God who takes us by surprise. Divine Creator, Human Christ, Pentecost Spirit, you are all you need to be. Amen. On the twelfth day of the month, we pray for the staff in the Iona Community Centres on Iona and Mull. And we pray for all former islands staff. We pray too for the following countries, the lands and their peoples. Belize, Canada, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, Nicaragua, Panama and the USA. And we pray for members belonging to the family group of Edinburgh Northwest. Graham Brown, David Coleman with Talison and Melangel, Colin Douglas, Peter Miller, Scylla McKenna, Irene Wilkie, Andrew Wright and Amanda. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in England Midlands. Walk with them today, O oh God, and keep us on your way. O oh Christ, the master carpenter, you at the last, through wood and nails, crafted our whole salvation. Wield, Wield well your tools in the workshop of your world, so that we who come rough hewn to your bench may here be fashioned to a truer beauty of your hand. Amen. In work, rest and worship, God is with us. Gathered and scattered, God is with us. Now, and always. God is with us.